the worst year for a lot of us for our mental as well as physical health. So joining us this morning is best-selling author, coach, and fitness expert, Lisa Goldenthal. Hello and welcome, I'm Lisa G, your host. You're at the top of your game, yet the game is changing faster than ever. Strategies that got you here aren't the ones that'll keep you here. The pressure is relentless and the fear of obsolescence looms large. That's why I'm here. Welcome to the new podcast series, Disrupted. How to be gritty and unlock performance. This is your chance where I sit down with today's tops in business, mindset, wellness, and success to help you master disruption and thrive. Thanks for coming and I'll see you soon. She's a pioneering thought leader in parenting, expert in family dynamics. She's transforming personal development for parents and children worldwide. As a mother of four, an Inc. 5000 multi-award winning business owner, she stands as a visionary and creator of the groundbreaking Happy Life System. The, this gamification platform is a comprehensive blueprint and game for life that cultivates teamwork, individual self-mastery, and a life filled with joy. At the forefront of the happy parent, happy child revolution, she's redefining how parents and children discover, align with, and activate their true purpose and life mission, inspiring a new era of fulfillment and purpose-driven living. Welcome to the podcast, Lauren Majors. Mm, thank you so much for having me. Having me, I'm so grateful to be here and. You know, first and foremost, I just want to say to all the listeners holding, you know, space, Lisa, thank you for holding space for all of us as we're on this journey of life together. Um, you know, every story, every person has a story. And I'm just so grateful to be able to share this story with you today of what I've endured and where I'm going and how I could be of service. So thank you for having me. Well, Lauren, I talked with you briefly off camera. And you are just a pleasure. So welcome to the podcast. Thrilled to have you here. Why don't we start with your story and how you got to this place where you are empowering children? Wow, fully packed. Um, so my childhood was a bit different. Um, I was a collegiate soccer player, uh, Argentinian. And so my father was very much about, you know, sports and education was a part of my how I grew up. And, you know, being the young girl, I was always uh, butting up against and rebelling against reform and indoctrination and questioning and all of these things. And so, you know, my family was the traditional family, but there was also a lot of things that were the old parenting tactics, which at that time in that generation, it was, you know, spanking, soap in the mouth, um, you're grounded, all of these types of things. So, you know, if you said something, there was soap in my mouth. And so I always, as a little girl, I was like, wow, there has to be a better way to this thing called family. And I always had this, you know, peculiar mindset about questioning status quo and really getting into the nitty gritty of what it takes to bring harmony and love into a home, into what that looks like. So fast forward, uh, I was 23 years old. I met my husband in corporate America at CBS in Los Angeles. Um, he had a tragedy that happened in his life. He had two boys at the time. They were four and six and they had lost their mother. And wow. I remember, you know, you know, we all have these moments in our lives that are like these silver lining moments when you're just like, I don't know what this is about, but why is this coming up for me? And I'm sure all the listeners know those moments, whether it's work, whether it's career, whether it's family, whatever it is, there's a moment in your life where you know that something feels different. And in that time in my life, it felt different. And I was like, I don't know what it is about this human being, but he was a professional tennis player. I was a collegiate soccer player, full ride scholarship. We both really aligned on sports. And in business, it was very similar. So it was the discipline, the commitment, the dedication, all of these things. So I was thriving in this corporate environment and we really created this friendship. So at the time of the loss, I remember 
having this moment living in my little apartment in Manhattan Beach, California, where I was like, I feel like he's going to be okay. And it was this moment in my soul, like in a soul knowing that I don't know if I'm going to be the mom of these kids at 23 years old, but I don't know what I'm being called to do, but it's either me take this path now or not. And I decided to take the path. So Wow. I adopted his two boys at 23 years old. I had two more kids by the time I was 26. And I could tell you right now, Lisa, the way that I was parented to that world doesn't exist anymore. I had to reinvent a new way that worked for me to build harmony, connection, and build extraordinary human beings that could go off in the world and be of love, be of empowerment, be of confidence and purpose. So I remember I was literally on my hands and knees at, you know, 26, being a kid myself with four kids. And I'm going, how do I do this? And, you know, to be very honest with all the listeners and with you is the way that I was parented to, I knew I needed to do a complete 360 of my own childhood and reinvent a new way. So here I am where literally in the middle of the night, I got downloaded with this image and this family blueprint of life. And I was like, okay, we need these pillars of mastery. Like we need to understand that we're mastering our lives together with our children. So if we can master our lives, right? Home, the mastery of our space, mind, the mastery of our thinking, body, the mastery of our health. How do I establish a foundation for my children to thrive every single day? 200 pages of my book. And it was downloaded to me. And to me, it's like the first ever blueprint of raising an extraordinary human that has a foundation and has an anchor to be in purpose every single day of their lives. And so my system is really about the habits every day that we're creating in these different pillars of our lives to gain self-mastery and not let the world hijack our brilliance, our greatness, our confidence, all of these things. So that's packed, but it's in a nutshell. <laughs> Well, no, I appreciate all that information and most um, I'm most grateful for you sharing your story. And I, sometimes I think in life, you know, our upbringing, no, oh, nobody that I know has like one of these like straight shot to success and like everything was just coming up roses. Like that was certainly not my experience, but I think sometimes you can learn and have, there's a silver lining in the stress that we all go through that you push against it to create something better. So do you have any tips for our audience here about how can we create a successful family? Because obviously what you Yes. walk through of being an integrated family isn't as easy as you said it is, right? Yeah. And, you know, I saw so many roadblocks within my own family dynamic that I knew something needed to change. Right. And the number one thing that I can tell you is the language that we're speaking and how we're speaking to our children is actually inhibiting the connection. And when you're told to do things as a child, like you need to go do this and this is the way it's going to be. And it's my house and my rules. All that creates is resentment. And I was that kid. Me too. I was the kid hundred that percent. was like, you're not going to tell me what to do. I'm a Leo. I'm fierce. I'm like, I am that girl that's going to stand up against anything. And at the end of the day, I realized that created the wedge between me and the relationship with my parents and with my family. So the takeaway I would say is the way that we're framing our language and how we're speaking to another individual is really what's setting us up for success or what's setting us up for failure. And when I talk about me running a company, being a president of a media company, each 5,000 company, global, multi-million multi -million dollar company, at the end of the day, it's our infrastructure, it's our teamwork, it's our systems, it's how we're building together. And that's where the constructs are breaking down, where remember back in the day, it's a boardroom, it's all of these things. And I tell you what to do. You know, the greatest leaders in the world right now are realizing, realizing the psycho psychological perspective of human being is really about connecting from I understand you and you understand me. And that's the same as family. When we can look at our children and say, you offer me just as much as I offer you, let's build together. Let's work together. Let's learn together. The dynamic changes. Wow. And I always tell my kids, Respect. like, when Yeah. I, Go you ahead. know, like when I adopted, when I adopted my kids, my boys were four and six. Okay. 
And I remember I was a kid just as much as them. And I really looked at if I was the child all over again, how would I want to be spoken to? I love that. I love How that. would I, Empathy. how would I want to be parented to? And it was like, Hey, now I know why I was so rebellious. Now I know why I was so angry. Now I know why I ran away. And then that was the cl clue into family for me. And my purpose is really about unifying family and building these incredible magical, because I believe the home is the infrastructure of where we design our whole footprint for life. And if we could get that right, we got a whole new world. And so that's where, you know, the digital age and all of these things are coming into our homes. And so we have to have boundaries. We have to have values. We have to have a family motto, all of these things to create the infrastructure that, you know, can create extraordinary and happy people. Wow, there's so much to unpack there. I love your energy and how you are running your life like a business, which is a wonderful thing. And I really do feel like how you do one thing is how you do everything. So if you Yes. can be successful at work, you can be successful in parenting. So let's say that it's boiling down to this respect, empathy, and communication skills. Do you have any tips on communication that you want to share with our audience? Yes, yes, yes. And so that's my biggest thing. I talk about the new language of heart speak. And so again, I really, the happy life system is built on the foundation of heart speak. And I say that because I'm going to give you something that's going to blow your mind. Okay. Do you remember when you were a little girl and you were like, your parents told you to do chores and you're just like, what? I don't want to do chores. Like it, you were always fighting against this energy of being like, I don't really want to do it, but I have to do it. It might be for five bucks or whatever, but there was no heart connection. Me, So that when was I had me. four kids, that was me saying, my mom would leave me a list and I was like, you want me to do the dishes? Like you're kidding. Like every day I got a laundry list and I was like, I get there's contribution, but where's the love? <laughs> right. And so I went so deep. And this is when I started writing my book where I was like, what does chores actually mean? Chores was established in 1746. And the word actually means a mundane but necessary task. Mundane means finding no joy. So if we have to perpetuate a human into work and love, how do we do that? I invented the word, word opportunity. Opportunity is a chance for a human to advance themselves in every moment. I have the opportunity to make my bed. I have the opportunity to help my home. I have the opportunity. Why? Because I'm so grateful and appreciative to even have this opportunity of life. So my entire language and the way that I did it, I started to see my kids move into this sense of gratitude and gratitude and appreciation is obviously, you know, what creates happy people. So instilling this language was you're not making your bed because you have to make your bed. You make your bed because you get to make your bed because you have a bed to rest. And when you show it gratitude and appreciation, you create more happiness in your life because your frequency and your vibration. is raised. So I started to learn language at the highest level. So here's another one. We all say, good morning, right? Right. Morning, morning the day. We're casting spells on our day. Oh Think my about God. it. Think That about makes this, sense. Yeah, I never did think right? about that So we're one. casting Yeah. spells. Good, good morning. We're talking about killing it. We're talking about slaying it. We're talking about slay is murder. That's a, that is a language that's running rampant in our children and our teens. That's how they're talking to each other. Right. So I speak very much in vibration. So the words that we speak have to create a frequency that feels good emotionally, mentally, and physically and in our mindset. So when we talk to our children, are we talking to them from a place of negative energy or positive en energy? So my biggest thing is the language in which we speak is really where you can understand if you're getting a reaction from your child negatively or positively. So that's just, I mean, that's a taste, but my, my whole thing is so comprehensive. It's very hard to talk about it in this one thing. But remember, I was that kid. So when we talk about this, I'm like, why did I resist so much? And I started to learn the language in which we're speaking to our children has to be rebirthed and revolutionized. And that's literally what I've done in the happy life system. Wow. I just thought maybe you'd been talking to my mom before this call. I'm like, that, that, 
So me, the whole rebellious with no cause and no one had that language, those communication skills to actually talk to me yes. so that I would get to do something instead of have to do something. I'd love that positive reframe. So I know we only have a short time together and I want to know, maybe do you have any final tips on empowering children that you want to leave our audience with today? Yes. Yeah, so I'm so excited. I've been literally in the incubator. So I just have to say, like, I started my media company as a entrepreneurial woman, built it with my husband, you know, Inc. 5000 company. I stepped down around six to seven, almost seven years ago to create the happy life system, because I believe that's my life mission and purpose in the world is to unify family and bring this revolutionary new language and structure to homes all around the world. So I just am about to launch Crack the Parenting Code and Crack the Parenting Code is my first. It's basically like a masterclass. It's do at your own pace. Go at your own. It's not about like you need to cross things off and get there or whatever. It's literally what I did when I started on this journey 14 years ago that liberated my life. And it's $97. It's literally three modules. I give you my entire toolkit. I give you all my practices, my habits, all my books. And it unleashed the greatness within me because like you said, as a child, I was never taught these things. So when I started to embark on my own journey, I realized that I have to love myself as a parent first for my children to begin to love themselves. And if they don't learn how to do that and I don't heal my own stuff and my own trauma, we are not going to be a strong family. And so I was willing to do the work and this is what I'm passing on to people. So I start with my my eight secrets to being a happy parent, which is my eight simple habits with a habit tracker that is a, is a free book for everybody to download and then crack the parenting code. I want to share with the audience is, is I mean, people that have, have literally, they've seen psychologists, they've seen people like family therapists. They're like, Lauren, in, in like an hour, you changed my life. I'm like, because I'm a living person. I'm authentic. I went through it. I did it and it changed my life. And so, you know, for all the listeners out there, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a psychologist, right? I'm a real person that figured it out. And I ran companies, very successful companies. I'm a mother of four. My son's now 22 to 11 years old. I've been in it. I'm 38 years old. So I just want to pass on the wisdom and be a service to people that are on the journey of what literally helped me and changed my life. Well, thank you for sharing all these wisdom bombs with our audience. And where can people find more Lauren Majors? So laurenmajors.com for sure get on the list because we're just about to launch everything with the Academy and with Crack the Parenting Code. And then the Lauren Majors is my Instagram handle. So it's Lauren, L-A-U-R-E-N, and then Majors, M-A-G-E-R-S. Um, and, you know, we're just launching social and you can really see the up close and personal of my life, um, you know, all these nuggets and things that I'm sharing along my journey. But in reality, Lisa, you have a story, I have a story, and I'm just, I'm so grateful that we could be together and share in this community of, you know, love and as we build our lives together, because nothing's better than supporting each other. So I'm just so grateful to be here and for all the listeners to be on this journey with us. Well, I really think people should connect with you. Are you on LinkedIn too? Yes, LinkedIn as well. Okay, Lauren, Lauren Majors on LinkedIn. On LinkedIn. Yes. Wonderful. Thanks for being such a wonderful guest. And people should download your products and get on your list. Amazing. Thank you so much.